Hi, it's Jasmine with Journey with Jasmine. I got up to go to work this morning and work ended up, there ended up being no work. So I, I still get paid for this block and I came on home, but I just wanted to talk about just how God works in my life because he never ceases to amaze me. Like two major things happened this morning. So this morning, I set my alarm for 5.40 a.m. to leave out of the house at 6 a.m. Um, my Amazon Flex block started at 6.45. So that gave me 30 minutes plus a wiggle room to get to work. I didn't go to sleep until like midnight. For me, mistake number one. And so as it itched closer to me time, like having to wake up, I was just having these thoughts like, I really don't want to go to work. Let me just cancel this block. I'll go do Walmart Spark later or whatever. So literally in my mind, I'm going back and forth. Because quite frankly, the past week or two, I just keep being sent very far away from home in, in order to like deliver my packages. And it's not like I get paid more to go further. So I've just been fed up and I'm just like, I really don't want to go to work. But then I'm thinking about the things I want to do, the things I need to pay for. And it's like, I have to go to work. So I'm going back and forth. And I'm like, you know, let me, I ended up waking up like an hour before my alarm went off and I just stayed up. I just stayed up. I was on TikTok and stuff. I edited a video, set that to premiere later on within the day or whatever. So my morning was off to a good start. So by the time my alarm went off, I got up. Getting dressed, feeling cute, wore a new jacket and stuff, made my tea and all of that. I'm in the car. I'm listening to audio of Job on the way to work. And then I also say a prayer and I talk to God. And one of the things I said in my prayer was like, you know, like, I'm really kind of like tired of this job. But at the same time, I'm grateful for this job because like, I have a job. I have, I get to get paid every day, five times a week. That is not normal for the mo most majority of the, po of the population, you know? So I start, you know, saying the things that I am grateful for with this job. You know what I'm saying? And that I pray that God can just re renew my perspective and my mindset so I can continue to go to work and do the things that I need to do. So I pull up and usually, you know, you have to, scan your face for verification and then the people at the warehouse will scan my id so i can pick up my packages i'm pulling up and it's this long line of cars so i'm like okay maybe they're running late but as i'm looking at the warehouse where there's usually packages lined up i don't see a thing and the warehouse kind of looks closed up so i'm like okay what is going on Come to find out, it's basically one of those days where there's no routes. So what that means is you show up to work. There is no work to do. So they let you go and you still get paid for the block as if you actually picked up the packages and spent hours delivering those packages. When I tell you this only, it's only happened, but so many times, but it always happens <laughs> At those times where I'm like, Lord, I did not, I don't want to be, I don't want to have to get up and go to work today, but I'm going to get up and go to work because I got things to do. And I'll, I'll usually talk to God about it. And I swear, this is what always happens. And again, it's, it doesn't happen on the days where I'm eager to go to work. Like I want to go to work. It doesn't happen on those days, but it happens on the days where I'm just like, Lord, I am fed up. <laughs> and it's a blessing and in addition to that there's this older black man where in the couple of weeks the past weeks or like a month or so he's been helping me out in terms of like making sure I have routes that are close to home because I live in Fairfield you know we do deliveries in Fairfield literally in my neighborhood sometimes we do, do deliveries in Fairfield Benicia Vallejo um, American Canyon. So I have opportunities to deliver in my backyard, but I don't know what route I get until I get there and scan the packages. And you can't get there, see where you're going and be like, screw this. I mean, you can, but you're liable to lose the job, right? So 
this man, when he works in the mornings, he'll tell me, okay, you know, those routes, like if you get in line in this order, or if you get this route or those particular packages, you're going to end up in Fairfield, Vallejo, blah, 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 blah. So that has been a saving grace for me because now I get to show up like when he's working and I know that I'll be delivering close. And he wasn't there all last week, but he was there this morning. And I was like, you know, God is good because like, I did not want to come to work this morning. I said, praise God. Like, and I'm telling him this and he started laughing and he was like, sister, he was like, it's going to be like this all week. So make sure you're here all week. You ain't got to say nothing but a word, sir. <laughs> You ain't got to say nothing but a word, sir. They scanned my app to make sure I would still get paid for this block. And I went on about my merrily day. <laughs> and I tried to record this on my iPhone in the car, but I don't have storage there. And um, I'm going to break this up into parts. So this is going to be part one because I got to tell you about the part two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 